If you're South Asian and you think you're healthy because your BMI is under 25, you're fooling yourself. That cutoff wasn't made for us. South Asians develop diabetes, fatty liver, and cardiovascular disease at a much lower BMI. Why? Because we are genetically predisposed to store fat viscerally. This is around the organs like liver and pancreas. So if you're South Asian and thin, the real question isn't your weight. It's your lifestyle. And most people don't even realize their lifestyle is a problem, even if the scale looks okay. Our diets are drowning in refined carbs. Rice, roti, pakora, kachoris. You think a 30-minute walk is going to cancel out five kachoris? You don't need to go full keto, but you do need to make a few small changes. Aim for protein at every meal. You can include eggs, lentils, yogurt, fish, chicken, tofu, paneer. And if you're vegetarian and you don't think you can get enough options, whey protein is safe to do as well. And walking alone isn't doing anything for visceral fat. South Asians need strength training at least two to three times a week. Muscle is one of the best protectors against insulin resistance. If you're South Asian, your waist is much more important than your BMI. If you're a man, your waistline should be less than 33 inches. And if you're a woman, it should be less than 31 inches. Anything above that, and you're in a metabolic danger zone. Yeah, you might be thin, but if your diet is all carbs and gantia, your waistline is creeping up, you're not strength training, I'm sorry to break it to you, but you're not healthy. You're just thin with high risk factors. Fix your lifestyle early so you don't end up with diabetes and fatty liver disease while thinking that everything is normal.